What's Vikings? Hello? Hi. Uh, Emma Eliza, yes? Regan. Like the American president years ago. Spelled the same? Spelled differently, because I think he had an A. I don't know. It's R E G A N. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, I'm not familiar with your okay. Vikings. Do you want to? <laughs> Do you want to turn the camera off and I'll tell you and then it can help you? I'll write. If I, I won't air it, but it'll help you write. Okay, okay. So, so basically, I'm in a film called Hexine, if that helps. Okay. Sorry. Hello? Okay. Hexing. So, Hexing is a film that's coming out in America this year with Dominique Swain. So, uh, it is based on a character called Hannah who returns home and a lot of strange incidents starts happening here and it's a horror film, a drama film. So that's going to be in America this year. Yeah. Coming out when? Sorry? So it's coming out this month. Yeah. And Viking... March you mean? Yes. March. Yeah. Same day as, same month as Patrick's Day. So, <laughs> yes. You have that here? You celebrate that? I don't know if people go to the movies on St. Patrick's Day, but yeah, we certainly celebrate. In Ireland, we certainly don't go to the movies on Patrick's Day. <laughs> we have parades and a lot of parties and stuff like that, so yeah. I think so. So there you go. What's your hometown? So my hometown is Galway in the west of Ireland, yeah. So it's a very cute little town. And uh, very, very, very different to LA, although it's on the coast as well, so it's the only similarity. And it's my very first time here in LA, so it's very exciting. <laughs> Wait a minute, you sound, you, you don't have a, a strong Irish accent. It sounds like you live here. Really? <laughs> uh, no, I have, I, I think people associate the Irish accent with a uh, Dublin accent, maybe. But um, this is an Irish accent. <laughs> and uh, I'm just very excited. Everything is so new here, so just arrived last week and soaking up everything in LA and it's, it's pretty cool and, I'll, and my friends my close friends are up for an Oscar tonight so I'm here supporting them so it's Darren and Vincent Lamb and they're up for best live action show entertainment so I'm crossing fingers <laughs> that I'll be very nervous watching the best live action show to be quite honest You'll be watching the Oscar viewing. Yeah, I'm going to be Oscar viewing. So, and there's a couple of Irish films up for Oscars tonight. There's The Favourite, which is an Oscar-produced film, uh, Irish-produced film, uh, and uh, so that's Irish. And then there's an Irish uh, animation up as well for best animation and detainment, of course. So, so a good Irish presence. Okay. So when Americans fly through Dublin yes. on Ryanair, oh yes, <laughs> and we fly through, it and, and and everyone's speaking, they're dropping the th and they're saying turd instead of third. The it, it, right, turd, it's about tree turdy. Yeah, I think we do. I mean, you're talking to yeah three three. <laughs> I really Don't you say? Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of things the Irish say that's different, you know. We say, um, oh, I don't know, like, how, yeah. We're Is it that way in every city they, they, that you say? Yeah, I think we're not great as Irish pronouncing our THs. <laughs> I think you're right. Is it like a slang or dialect? No, it's not a slang. It's just our pronunciation, I guess. Um, yeah. But it's just, uh, but uh, we have different accents all around Ireland, I think. So the Irish accent can change from Cork up to Belfast. So Belfast sounds quite different. Yeah. But good observation. Have you been in Dublin? I've been to Dublin and I couldn't understand why the people who I thought were educated were not pronouncing things properly. Oh, well, you should, you should, you should write a letter to the Irish and ask them that question. It's quite a hard question to answer on a, a red carpet on Oscar night. Why do the Irish not pronounce their THs properly? I think that's actually quite a national question. Maybe we Trump should ask, ask our, our president that or something. I don't know. What do you think about Brexit? I think it's a very... Uh, uh, personally, it's, it's, it's not really resolved yet, so I think um, 
on a human level, a lot of people I know uh, are quite uh, scared and, and vulnerable, I guess, to how it's going to affect them, affect their family life, affect their work life. Um, so it's interesting to see, but uh, obviously I don't personally support Brexit because I think it was... Um, it's not really a, a great solution for Europe, but uh, it's happening, so uh, time will tell. Yeah. Could be a boon for Ireland. It's going to be a massive boon for Ireland in terms of film industry. So uh, I think there'll be a lot of huge productions coming into Ireland to take a positive slant on Brexit. There will be huge more. We've got Game of Thrones, we've got Vikings, we've got Night Flyers. So. I think that there could be a, a lot more American companies coming in, hopefully. Yeah, you heard it here first, so <laughs> thank you. You're most welcome. Have a very good night tonight. Most Irish know how to party, so we are looking forward to that. <laughs> and salute Ireland on March 17th. Yeah, exactly, March 17th. Patrick's Day for your viewers. <laughs> was he a great saint, by the way? Uh, St. Patrick. And in the church. He, he got rid of snakes and uh, I guess that makes him great. I don't know. I personally like snakes. <laughs> so I have nothing against snakes, but St. Patrick got rid of the snakes and he gave us shamrocks. Well, apparently. It's a symbol of the shamrock. It was, uh, is it's it's quite a Christian symbol, so um, yeah. But it's a fun day. We all celebrate and we all get the day off work and we all have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I love looking because we have the same icon. We do. We should say this on TV. That would have been a great moment. But but yours is so much more pronounced. Thank you. You're like a model for that color. What do you call them when you when you have to write what it is? So if if I personally, I I'm there's a lot of different answers to this question. So I think my eyes are green, but uh, my sisters will tell me that they're not green, that they're hazel. But my agent has on my CV uh, green eyes because you got to write down an eye color. But I don't. I think my agent's lying because there's a bit of yellow and there's a bit of brown. Well, there's a brown ring in it. There's, there's a brown ring in my eyes. There's speckles of yellow. There's a. Uh, Are you wearing fancy contact lenses? Or? I'm not wearing any fancy contact lenses. No, no, no. And Jonathan Arnold. Um, so these are my actual eyes. Yeah. But my mum, my mum's side of the family have green eyes, and my sister's very green eyes. So yeah. It's good Irish. Good Irish uh, eye color, isn't it? Is it common? I don't think it's common. I think green eyes is the least common eye color. And I'm also left-handed. So uh, I'm a rare, rare... <laughs> and you're an actress. And I'm an actress. But there's loads of actresses out here in LA, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that special. <laughs> but it's a gamble, isn't it? A, a career gamble. Having green eyes? <laughs> is it, is, isn't acting... Uh, the, the, the pursuit of, uh, of fame uh, or gamble? I think anything you do in life that is your passion is worth doing, whether it's difficult or not difficult. And uh, I've been fortunate that I've worked with lots of great people and we we work together again and we get to know each other. And I've had lots of great opportunities. And, you know, you have really down times where you, you're not working and you're auditioning and then at the final hour something always happens it's amazing that you didn't think could happen so uh, you just have to get used to the roller coaster of it all that's that's basically and you got to enjoy the good times you know so that's that's how that's how it goes you sound like an old soul good for you thank you <laughs> i will i'll have a lovely time nice to meet you legendary oscar winner marvin o'brien is that interesting